Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sean Andrew, back with another review. This time we'll be talking about House of Lies, Season 1, Episode 2, Amsterdam. And remember, please feel free to leave your comments down below on your thoughts on the show. Now, this episode has the pod, uh, or the pretty much the particular team that Don Cheadle presides over, um, going over to Phoenix to help out one of their buddies, um, a friend of a friend, if you will, through their boss, a Hush Project. It's dealing with a man who owns um, a franchise team and that he's getting ready to go through a divorce. And in this case, finds out the wife is apparently going to get a lot of money and enough to practically uh, hurt the franchise. So as they're going through books, trying to figure out a way to work something out, talking between both parties, they end up discovering that the husband has like a hundred million dollars on some offshore account. And this is what they kind of use to hook everything in together. And by staying face in front of the public, talking, having them to admit, you know, we're going to stick this out. We're going to try to make it work. They'll end up making money in the long run for the both of them. He gets what he wants. She gets what, what she wants. And we get to keep the franchise around. Um, there's also a little side story that deals with Jenny um, and a former flame of her that she hooked up with and comes to find out that um, she is actually being given a job opportunity. Apparently it pays double uh, what she's currently being, um, uh, what she's currently making. And all of a sudden, like the job opportunity disappears. So then she asks Marty, Don Cheeto's character, you know, this is just kind of odd. You know, like, don't don't you think this just seems very, uh, the timing just seems very interesting? You know, he's like, well, if I was, if it was, you know, I would never really admit to anything. And what ends up happening is we end up learning that it seemed like if Marty may have had something to do with that, um, showing that he pract he did want to keep her, um, and it's as stern as she may seem during that situation, she does smile, uh, she does turn and smile. And I thought that part was really cute, that kind of interaction between them. He knows she's a good employee, and you definitely want to keep the person. But seriously, if somebody's going to get paid double, I mean, and you keep them around for your benefit, I may have to choke you just for a minute. You won't lose consciousness, but maybe just for a minute. But that, that that's a lot. That's a lot. And, you know, again, as she smiled, you know, she seemed kind of, okay with the situation was all said and done you know he does actually care you know so i think that would make a person want to stay with an individual as long as you know that as well because going with the new company you don't know how it could turn out and at least where you're currently at you know how everything's going to flow uh you probably feel a lot safer since people know you there may be a better level of leniency besides being the first one hired um or the last one hired first one fired type of concept so either way, um, again, the acting is great. There's this crazy all out sex scene between um, Marty and his wife again. And they get pretty rough in the bathroom. And part of me believes that's probably just how they are anyway. You can definitely see where, you know, that could be one of the reasons of, of, on their, their aggression towards each other does play from the bedroom as well as how they act in person. That it's not strictly just a business thing. Um also, another side note, there's a situation towards the end that he has with Roscoe. Somebody called him a fudge packer. And while they're playing the video game, um, you can definitely tell that Marty seems really bothered by that. But Roscoe, of course, once the game is on, he's not really paying too much attention to it. But you can see his, um, you can see Marty's concern for that situation. Um, again, so I like how Marty's character is properly balancing not only his job, um, not only his child, uh, but he's also showing concern where it needs to be. Um, even as low as it may have been for dealing with Jenny and maybe taking the opportunity from her, but also his concerns with the son as well. So great show. The acting is great. Funny as well. Uh, or something else. The thing where they do that kind of freeze frame thing and where it's just Marty talking. I thought that was going to be kind of annoying, but the way they're working it into the series, give me a few more episodes, but it, it's kind of working on me. It's kind of working. So um, please feel free to leave your comments down below on your thoughts on the show. Uh, my name is Sean Angie with the TV Show Review, and this has been a review of House of Lies, Season 1, Episode 2, Amsterdam.
See ya.